everybody out there in YouTube land. My name is Angie. Uh, the name of my channel is Craft NATO. And the purpose of this video is to give you a little introduction to myself and to what I plan on doing um, on my channel. As you can probably tell, it's going by my name, it's going to be a crafting channel. Uh, I have a lot of different crafts that I do uh, do on a daily basis. Craft NATO came about from my family. My brother-in-law actually named me Ange NATO. Um, my name is Angie because everything I do, I'm just like a little tornado, just all over the place, doing everything all the time. And um, so my family, my kids call me Ange NATO. And when I talked about doing a YouTube channel, I talked to my husband and my kids and um, I had a couple different ideas for the name of my channel and everybody, uh, when my daughter came up with the name Craft NATO, everybody thought that was appropriate and so that's what I settled on. So today, like I said, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction of myself, but I figured why waste the time and why not do a little whip and chat uh, while I work on my current, one of my current works in progress. This is Reflections on Country Living, a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club and the artist Chuck Pinson. Um, this is my entry for the Chuck Along 3 event that is being put on by um, Mindy's Diamond Moment and um, Kiss My Crafts um, and sponsored by Diamond Art Club. So um, I thought, why not work along while I answer some questions um, some tag questions and just give you guys a brief introduction of who I am and what I plan to do with my channel. Um, I wanted to get this up as soon as I could because I've got orders in with a lot of places for a lot of things that I really want to show on my channel and I'm not one of these people who can get um, a, uh, a box in and let it sit there and wait for a long time before I unbox it. And I really want to do be I really do want to be able to um, unbox um, on my channel. I can't very well put unboxing videos out there when I haven't even introduced myself, and you don't know who the heck I am. So that's why I'm doing this today. Probably I'm not as prepared as I would have liked to have been, but you know what? Life is about spur of the moment for me. Life is about just doing it. Uh, off the cuff so to speak so that's what I'm gonna do I think that when you're yourself and when you're when you're just uh, natural it probably is the best thing anyway and so there we go so um, again my name is Angie I am 46 years old I'll give you just some basic facts about myself married I have three children um, ages 26 23 and 12 and no, it was not an accident, my 12-year-old. In fact, he was very, very, very much planned. Um, we, uh, I had had my tubes tied after I had my youngest daughter, um, and then I had gotten remarried. And my husband didn't have it. Now, my husband's been in my children's lives, my daughter's lives, since they were three and five years old. So, um, you know... He he raised them. He was soccer coach. He was involved in all the activities. Um, you know, went on field trips. Um, we did a lot of camping when we were younger. Um, oh come on, doesn't want to pick that drill up. And uh, this has always been a big parental parental uh, role. Played a big parental role in their lives. Um, I'm using today, um, I guess I'll tell you what I'm using. I might as well interrupt myself and tell you that. You'll find that I do interrupt myself a lot. Um, I will start on one story and then that leads into another story and another story and another story. And then, you know, I'll eventually turn, roll around and get back to what I was originally talking about. But sometimes it takes a minute. So hope you like story within a story because that's what you're going to get on my channel. Um... So, yeah, uh, I'm using Patty Wax SS um, for my um, single placer. 
you absolutely love it. I won't use anything else in my single placer. I just haven't found, I've tested everything. I've got every wax under the sun. Um, and that's what I use for my single placer. Now, I'm just as picky with my multi-placer. Um, I will only use Not Your Mama's Mud um, from Whimsical Daisy over on Etsy. Um, their product for multi-placing is just in her, her product. She's a one-woman show over there. She does a great job. Um, her scents are fabulous. And um, it's a lot of people, I've, I've seen a lot of people um, comment on the consistency that it's not, they don't like the consistency of it. And it is a, it's not a wax consistency. It's a mud consistency. Um, but for me, it's wonderful in multi-placers. Uh, it's all I'll use in my multi-placer. So I'm pretty, pretty dedicated to those two products um, as far as wax goes. And I'm just using my Diamond Art Club uh, diamond painting pen right now. I do have some other specialty pens, but today I'm just using this Diamond Art Club pen. I feel, I find that it is the perfect perfect shape and it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get something that works and is comfortable because I find myself even with my specialty pens I find myself falling back on this one over and over again it's just my go-to you know what I prefer um the shape and and the finish on it is nice and nice and uh smooth and I just, I enjoy this pen. So this is what I use a lot of the times. And then, you know, a lot of the times too, your t pen decision for the day goes along with what you have on the other end for a multi-placer. This is a Chuck Pinson piece. So as everybody knows, Chuck Pinson tends to have a lot of confetti in uh, his paintings. So you're not going to be doing large chunks of multi-placing. So... This pen has my four placer on it, and it's about the um, it's about the biggest <laughs> biggest I've ever gone on a on a Chuck Pinson painting. Now this is my first Chuck Pinson square. All the other Chuck Pinsons I've done have been round drill, and um, I find that this actually does have more color blocking this painting does than the previous um, Chuck Pinson paintings that I've done. But even at that, it's, it's a fair amount of confetti, which I don't mind. But anyway, back to, um, back to my family. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we um, got married in 2005, and uh, my husband didn't have any children biologically, even though he'd been with my girls for the majority of their lives. Um, so we decided that we wanted to have a child together and we had, uh, I had my tubal ligation reversed or we had a tubal reversal surgery and, um, took about a year after that, uh, to conceive and then we finally did and we ended up with our son, Nate, who is 12 years old. So I also have, um... Two granddaughters from my oldest daughter, um, Marie and Lila. They're three and a half and one and a half, and they are just absolute joys. I have to say that I love being a grandma. I love being a grandma so much more than being a mom, even because you can just spoil the crap out of them and send them home to mom and let her deal with the fallout. And Emily will not like that I'm saying that, but it's the truth, you guys. It's the truth. So, so that's my family. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, haven't always been. Uh, I worked for from the time I was 14 until about 11 years ago. Um, I have some health problems. Um, and uh, it got to a point where, and I'm sure I'll talk about those some other time, you know, later on down the road, um, maybe when we get to know each other a little bit better, but um, some things that made it impossible for me to continue working. 
Uh, so I did retire, disability retire, um, about 11 years ago. And since then, uh, other than, you know, my health issues and just trying to take care of that, I really was, and in the summertime, I do, I love to garden. I, I love to be outside, um, love to work in the yard. Just, I can't do as much as I used to, but I love to just even just putz around and, and do little things here and there. Um, it really, it's my favorite time in my life is to be outside uh, working, doing just about anything. Um, I love cutting the grass. I love pulling weeds. Pulling weeds is one of my favorite, most satisfying hobbies. Um, I love flowers. Um, I love vegetable gardening. Um, we have a big property. We have about five acres with a, with a pond. So I do, I love fishing. Um, you know, we fish at our house. Um, all kinds of things. At one point we did raise chickens and ducks. I'd like to get back into that. My husband would not, but that's, you know, that's for, an, uh, uh, for another day. Um, we do have one pet at the moment. We have a dog, Bodu. He is a, he is a Siberian Husky Lab mix. So he's just, he's a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. And I'm sure you'll see him popping in to my videos. He likes to see what I'm doing. Him and I spend the days together. Uh, now that my son is finally back to school, um, as of last week, they, he was doing online as every most, most people's children were um, for a little over a year. So he's finally back as of last week, back to school full time. And oh my God, you guys. Uh, I am so, so not glad to get rid of him, but glad to get rid of him. It is nice to have my time during the day um, without him here. I know that everyone that I've talked to has struggled with the whole online school thing, and it was a freaking nightmare. Just arguing daily and not getting him to be you know, up and awake enough to be really doing his schoolwork. And it was just uh, constant fights and, and just a really hard time with instruction because you're not getting the level of, of instruction that, you know, they get when they, you see, I'm a really hard presser, you guys. And so my, my wax, you know, you're going to see me fill my wax a lot. And, and just because I have to doesn't mean the product doesn't work. The product works great. I'm just not, uh, I don't work great. So it's completely me and not the product. I end up having to fill my pen quite a bit. I don't know if I don't do it right or what, but that's, that's my issue. I mean, I, I've heard people say they can go for days without having to refill their pen. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine such a thing. That to me is just incomprehensible, but... I don't know, maybe someday I'll learn. Someday I'll learn. That's what I keep telling myself. Someday I'll learn the trick, whatever the trick might be. Um, so yeah, so I've got the one, just the one dog. We had another dog and a cat. And unfortunately, we very suddenly lost both of them over this winter. Um, neither one were sick. Um, my cat, was. it was just a complete out of nowhere uh, I left in the morning I had some things to do that day he was fine he was perfectly healthy he was just like he always was he was not an old cat he was about three years old and I came home in the evening and he was laying dead on the kitchen floor just um, sprawled out in a very unnatural manner uh, we didn't have anything in our house as far as poisons or or anything like that that he could have gotten into. Um, there was no, he hadn't gotten sick anywhere around the house that we could see. Um, he just, he was just dead. It was the oddest, most shocking thing. It was, it was, it was insane. So we had that loss that was in uh, December, and then um, we had another dog. We had a Chihuahua, 
he was about, he was, he came from a puppy mill and um, he was just a product of poor breeding. I think he was inbred. He had, you know, chihuahuas have personality issues a lot of the time anyway, but you know, he had some, some, some health issues uh, along with that. And um, he was just never the healthiest guy. And so, um, he was, uh, he was fine. He, he, you know, maintained his two, two and a half pounds and, and was just fine. And, um, within the course of one day, he just went down, uh, oh, look, I missed that whole row of that symbol. Is there anybody else that happened to everybody? I think it happens to everybody. I feel like it happens to me more, more than, <laughs> more than most. I hate that. I, um, it doesn't matter. I can... I can check, double check, triple check, quadruple check, and I will swear that there are no more of that symbol on the canvas, and then I'll no, no sooner put it away, and I swear to God, those symbols change. They change while I'm putting the, uh, that color away. They're like, oh, she put us away. We're going to change into that symbol. Quick, 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 change into that symbol. Yup, happens every single time. Does not matter how much I check. But that's okay. I just learned to roll with it. I kind of am like that. I just, I try to just roll with things. I don't get too, I don't get too uptight or upset about much these days. I just kind of go with the flow. It's part of the process. You know, it happens. So just let it happen. And just get it back out and read it, you know, put that color back in. If it's not relaxing to you and if it stresses you out, you're, you're, shouldn't be doing it so I try to just go with the flow and enjoy the process who cares if you got to get the color back out again right right so anyway that was our other little dog that passed away he just uh suddenly took ill and within hours he had passed um he just stopped taking food and water and was very very cold uh, to the touch. It happened on a Sunday and um, just passed away within hours. Um, so we lost him as well. So now we're down to just one dog, which is good, which is good. So it's, it's, it's not good that he passed away. Don't get me wrong. It's not good that my pets died. I'm not saying that. Um, I just, it's, it's nice to only have one pet to deal with. Um, just it's nice. Bo Duke, like I said, he's a lab uh, Siberian Husky mix, and he's like a light blonde color, and so that's why he, we named him Bo Duke um, after Dukes of Hazard. Bo and Luke Duke, you know, Bo was the handsome blonde guy, and that's just what Bo Duke reminds me of, and so that's what we named him. And he was a rescue dog. We got him from the shelter, and he is. Probably, and we've always had dogs. Um, he's probably, honestly, I mean, I don't mean any any ill will towards any of our previous dogs that we've ever had, but he is probably the best dog we have ever had. I mean, just his personality and his nature is just so enjoyable. Just so, so enjoyable to be around. So, um, yeah. So we, we enjoy him a lot. We do we we have a lot of fun with him. Uh, and um, so he's a bigger dog too. So he's he's fun. He's funny. He um he we have a a rail trail. So that's an old railroad tracks that they converted into a, a a trail that's operated by the county park system. And um, it crosses the street kind of at an angle out front of our house. So there's constantly people, you know, walking and biking and jogging and, and whatnot. And he spends his days on the couch. In fact, that's where he is right now, on the couch, in the window, just uh, looking at the world, watching the world go by. And he gets a little excited sometimes when he sees cute girl dogs that he likes and he'll get a little excited and it's so funny at the end of the day when it's about time for my husband to get home from work he knows he knows what time it is and he just he'll sit there and wait for my husband to get home and if I if 
I say, where's dad, Bo Duke? Where's dad? He'll, <laughs> oh, look, he's looking at me right now because I said, where's dad? It's not time yet, bud. It's not time. You got time. Um, he gets so excited. He loves his dad. So, so that's it about our family. Um, and, um, what else? So crafts. So, uh, what we're going to, what I plan on doing with the channel. Um, I, I suppose it should be crafts and hobbies, um, because I do plan when, uh, the weather gets nicer, I do plan on taking you guys outside and doing some gardening videos, um, as well as my crafting videos. Because like I said, in the spring, summer, fall, I do spend a lot of time outside. Um, and, you know, I have a gorgeous perennial garden. I plant a ton of annual flowers as well. And I do do, we do do a vegetable garden as well. So, um... I do plan on incorporating that as part of the channel, and we'll see how that goes, see if you guys like that. Um, um, but as far as crafts go, uh, I don't plan on just diamond painting. I, I diamond paint probably during the day. That's probably the majority of my time is spent diamond painting. I just, right now, I enjoy it so much. And, you know, you go through spurts, though. You know, I went through a, a phase where I didn't diamond paint for about a week, and I I crocheted, you know, for about a week. Crocheted until my fingers were sore um, every day. I'm uh, So I do also crochet. Right now I've got a couple projects going. I'm making a blanket for us, uh, you know, just a throw blanket. And then I'm also... Um, working on for my sister I'm making a scrap gan uh, with granny squares um, and I'm trying to replicate as you know as much as possible the um, afghan from Roseanne that Roseanne had on <clears throat> that they had on the show on the back of their couch so my sister's always wanted that afghan so I am working on that for her, and I gotta say, it's my first, I'm very new to crochet, very new to crochet, so I'm not going to teach you anything, that's for sure, but, you know, I can show you what I'm doing, see, look, my glass is already gone, ugh, so annoying, um, and I know it's because I press so hard, and I just, I can't help it, that's just, uh, this is my nature, um, I'm not going to teach you guys anything crochet-wise because, like I said, I'm not an extra expert. I'm relatively new, but I can do some whipping whip chats while I work on things. And I just uh, learned how to make granny squares before I started this afghan for my sister. And I'm really, really enjoying it. I really like making the granny squares. They're, they're fun. They're fun and it's nice because I feel like that's something I can still crochet into the summer. You know, because they're so small, you're not going to have that big heavy heavy uh lump of blanket hanging you know laying on you and keeping you hot so and i'm gonna make it quite a large blanket so i've got about a hundred squares i'm gonna do so um yeah it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a while so um diamond painting uh crochet i play you know i've I really like unboxings, so you're probably going to see a lot of unboxings on my channel, and I know that I love unboxings. I love to watch people's unboxings. I never, they never get old to me. They never get old. Um, I think it's just the, you know, a lot of us in this craft of diamond painting, part of the allure of the craft is not just actually completing the diamond painting or the process of doing the diamond painting a lot of it is the uh, shopping for the diamond painting and the um the building up of your um building your stash you know so um like so i i do i love i love watching people's unboxings so i'd like to do all you know, my unboxings in a video as well, because I feel like if I like it, somebody else must like it out there. Um, and you know, if you don't, don't watch it. I don't care. Um, I'm doing this, you know, why am I doing this channel? I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for me. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm home. I'm home alone. Um, 
I like to talk. Um, I like to visit. And with COVID and everything else, uh, there's not really much outlet. And my health as well. Uh, I don't really have much of an outlet as far as, um, you know, visiting or having having somebody to talk to or having, you know, going to visit friends or whatnot. So I figured, hey, why don't I give YouTube a try? And I feel like I, you know, uh, everybody has a unique personality. And I've watched a lot of YouTubers and, um, you know, you just don't mesh with their personality. You just, you, you know, you, the way they say things or, or whatever just isn't your cup of tea. It isn't your style. It doesn't mesh with your personality. Just like we all have, you know, uh, you know, uh, different tastes in friends or in mates. Um, uh, so I think that even though, um, you know, I don't plan on doing anything all that original that hasn't been done. I don't think that there's anybody out there that could start a YouTube channel for crafting, um, especially diamond painting, that can say that they're going to do all original content. Because it's been, it's out there. It's been done. I mean, every, you know, just about everything has been done. But what I think you can do differently is your personality is going to appeal to a different type of person than maybe somebody else's personality. Um, you know, we all have different, different tastes, different, um, you know, who we like um, and who we don't like. So even if I'm doing something exactly the same thing as somebody else had done, it doesn't mean I'm copying them. It, you know, and then also I haven't watched every single YouTube video that's out there in the world. So how do I know if I'm copying someone? I mean, I haven't seen every video of what everybody else has done. And just because I had the same idea as somebody else doesn't mean I'm copying them. Um, I probably have never heard of them or never seen them or, you know, don't have any clue what they've done. So I, I kind of get a little bit of a, little bit of a, I don't know, pissy bug. When I hear people say, oh, so everybody copies what I'm doing or, you know, whatever. No, I'm not fucking copying you. I'm just, I've got this idea too, you know, or I, I might not even know who you are. I might not have ever seen anything you've ever done. I mean, people have, like I said, it's been done. Everything's been done. But I might do it or explain it or show it in a way that either is different from what somebody else has done or if it's even if it's completely the same I've got a different personality you know I'm gonna say it differently um, you know I'm gonna you, you might not like you know you might like my personality and not somebody else's or vice versa like it you know if there's there's everybody has their own personality and their own um, their own tastes so Hopefully, maybe I can appeal to somebody's, you know, somebody that, you know what I mean, somebody else doesn't. And if I do, wonderful, that's great. If not, you know, oh well, go watch somebody else. I'm doing this, you know, I'm doing this for other people, but I, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for, um, you know, because I think that... I'm an interesting person and I think that I have cool things to talk about. I have stories. Oh my God, do I have stories? I'm so many stories. Um, so yeah, so crochet, I might do whipping chats, but I'm not going to teach you anything because I don't know anything. Um, diamond painting. I do have a lot of diamond painting experience. I do have a lot to share. I do have a lot of, you know, I know a little bit about it. Um, so I might do some tutorials there. I'll do some unboxings. I plan on doing whip and chats. I would really, what I would really, really like to get into, and um, I'm a really good organizational type person, I'd really like to get into hosting an event. So if you have an idea for an event um, that you would like to participate in, um, but you don't necessarily want to host it or be a part of the planning and execution of it, 
I would be more than happy to host an event. So put that in the comments if you have a, a, a idea for um, for an event. And maybe I'll take your idea and host an event that has to do with that. I know it's pretty early to say that, being that this is my first introductory video, and it might be quite a while down the line before I have enough followers that I could even um, begin to um, have enough people that would participate. But hey, down the road sometime, you never know. Um, so just, yeah, let me know that down in the comments. Another thing that I would really, and this is a pipe dream, this is way down the road, if ever, I would really like to organize a retreat. I think that there is a huge market out there for people who would really like to participate in a retreat, um, but they're, they're just not out there right now. Um, they're just not, and if they are being done, they're on uh, such a limited basis that I think that the number of people who would like to participate far exceeds the number of people or the capacity of uh, of who is of the amount of people that can participate. What I'm saying is I think that they fill up um, so quickly that there's more people that like to participate than what what the current availability um, is. So that's something down the road that I'd really like to explore. Um, but like I said, I'd ha I, I need to, you know, have a following and have the community uh, support out there and, you know, be able to get the word out about it. So that's something down the line that I'd like to consider doing. Yeah, look, I've missed tons. Yeah, you're not watching, but I've missed tons of symbols. Whatever, I'll go back. So, uh, diamond painting, crochet, um, I also do cross stitch. Now, I don't know how much cross stitch I'll do on my channel, just because I am a lazy cross stitcher. I am not a fancy cross stitcher. I am not a floss tube cross stitcher. I don't, I <laughs> am a, probably a cheater cross stitcher. I, um, I like to watch uh, YouTube or watch shows while I cross stitch and I'm not into all the counting and all that bullshit so I am a stamped cross stitcher and if that doesn't count then if you feel that doesn't count whatever you can kiss my rosy red toe I don't care to me it's still stitching it's still creating something beautiful um it's to me no different than than diamond painting is basically you know a paint by number or cross stitch by number you're not doing that on a blank canvas you've got a you've got a guide that's telling you what to do so what, what difference does it make if I'm doing that with cross stitch right right so I still create beautiful things and um, doesn't necessarily make them any less beautiful because I used a pre-stamped kit that's all I'm saying so that's how I feel about that uh, so yeah, I might cross stitch in a whip and chat and you know screw the people who are gonna have something to say about it Like you know condemn me for not being a true cross stitcher. I don't need that negativity and you know Whatever, uh, you know, I don't really care uh, If anybody has anything bad to say about it um, And I also punch needle uh, Punch needle is something that I do plan on doing a lot of on my channel um, only because I have searched I've done a lot of searching YouTube um, for punch needle um, type things and it's not out there there are not a lot of people there are not a lot of videos out there that um, that do punch needle um, and so I'd like to bring that to you guys because it really is a fun 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 craft and it's easy it's not oh my containers I'll tell you about these I, you probably know about them but these are um oh i'll link them um in the description these are my absolute favorite and i know people love harbor freights and whatever but i love these containers um it takes two of them to kit up a diamond art club big canvas but it takes two harbor freights to kit them up at least i mean you only get 48 colors with a harbor freight so you're going to take two of them to do it anyway um but i really like these um, they're my, like I said, they're my favorites. Um, and I'll link them downstairs. I think it was like $17 for five of those, uh, trays. 
and they have 56 slots each. So to me, you really that's a that's a good value. I mean, you're really getting a lot um, for your money with that. Um, and they are high quality. I've never had a problem with like the lid snapping open or anything like that. I do make sure that like when I'm opening this one, I, when I'm pouring, I'll hold down the other three just you know to be safe. But um, um, I've never had a problem with them at all. And I've been using them for quite a while. <clears throat> so a punch needle. There's a couple different. It's um, punch needle is neat because there are. You can either do it with yarn or you can do it with thread. Um, and um, the only difference is you have a different tool, obviously, that you use a, a bigger tool for yarn. Um, and you and then of course your material that you punch into is different um, for yarn or for thread um, for yarn you're going to use um, for thread you use weaver's cloth and for yarn you use um, oh my gosh it's not coming to me right now um, but it's more like a uh, it's more like an Ada. It's a it's a larger weave um, uh, cloth that you use for it, um, and then for each of those mediums, either thread or yarn, there are two different ways that you can um, do the punch needle. You can do it um, front facing front and this will make more sense once I show it to you facing front or you can do it where the back is the good side where you know the bad side is the is the good side um, and so there's you know there's a lot of different variations um, a lot of different things you can and then you can do it mixed too you can do it mixed where part of your canvas is done with the um, well here let me just show you real quick I have one right here that I'm working on. Um, this is just a pre-printed. Um, it's going to be, um, it's for my, oh, you can't even see that. There you go. For my great nephew for his room. So this is an example of the technique, and this is with thread, six strands. Um, it's an example of the technique where the bad side is the good side. So this is actually the reverse um, of it. And so then this is what would technically be considered the good side. Um, but, okay, yeah. So um, this is where, you know, the loops of the piles are. Um, are. So, and you can tell, I mean, if I, if I were using this for the good side, I would make sure that this was all filled in and, and looking good. Um, but for this particular um, for this particular one, it's the um, the bad side is the good side. So he's going to be super cute. I've done a few of these animals uh, for my great nephew. Um, he's about seven months old, and I really enjoy it. I really am enjoying working with those. So I plan on doing quite a bit of punch needle on my channel, um, both ways. Um, both the bad side out and the good side out um, and both with yarn and with thread because like I said I haven't seen and, I, and I've searched and I have not seen a lot of that um, available a lot of there's there's not a lot out there as far as um, YouTube videos especially not for beginners I've found some videos um, but they're uh, very much more geared towards advanced um, punch needling and um, it can be something that you know when you get up there into the advanced methods um, you know you need some different things as far as um, equipment but for beginners I mean there's really really you can get started pretty inexpensively and um, and you can make some beautiful things and so um, that's one thing that I plan on doing on the channel as well. Um, I also do 
am a rock collector anytime and and i live in michigan so we have a lot of fossils um and we have of course um well i don't know if everybody knows about this but petoskey stones which are um, a special kind of fossil that are only found in michigan only found in northern michigan and um so i i'm a rock collector and i do some crafts with rocks i um, do rock polishing rock tumbling and i also make jar candles um, with my polished stones and that's something that i will probably um, show you guys as well now because of the chemicals that are used that's not something that i can do in the house that's a craft that i do out in the garage so we'll have to wait again living in michigan we'll have to wait until the weather is nice enough for me to spend time out in the garage um working on that but i'd like to show you some of that as well because that's something that i really enjoy um other than that yeah I, I plan on doing a lot of unboxings i plan on doing some tutorials i plan on um showing you some different things other than diamond painting um and talk just I plan on doing a lot of whipping chats because I do get lonely um, being home alone and I feel like I'm going to really enjoy basically having someone to talk to. Um, even though you guys aren't going to talk back, you can talk back in the comments. I'm um, looking forward to reading the comments, um, looking forward to making some new friends possibly. And, you know, I think in this age you can make a friendship through technology that's a meaningful relationship. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you about today. I want to get this video up there, like I said, before I start putting up, um, unboxings. So look out for that. Um, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my unboxings. I've got a lot of stuff coming. I've got things coming from, um, DIY Moon Shop. I have an order coming from Treasure Studios Art. I have orders coming from Craftably. Um, I've got an order coming from Sparkle Queen Creations. I have um, an order coming from Diamond Art Club. I always have an order coming from Diamond Art Club. I mean, come on. Um, I have some stuff coming from Amazon. Um, I have some stuff coming from Etsy, some punch needle stuff, um, and some cross-stitching stuff, and some new pens, diamond painting pens. So keep an eye out for those videos and subscribe so you can see them and if you would like to leave a comment down below uh, that would be wonderful if you have any questions or comments or suggestions anything you'd like to see me talk about on my channel that would be greatly appreciated and for now that is all i have to say so i look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. All right. Thanks. Bye.